Hey guys, this is Matt Winning at winningstrength.com and we're going to talk about the dynamic effort method and why it should be incorporated into your weekly workouts. But before we do that, if you have any questions, leave them below or sign up for Winning Strength Patreon where I answer questions about every three to four hours that I'm awake. So remember that also you need to be making sure that you're supplementing with proper supplementation. That's where ATP Labs comes in. They're FDA regulated by the Canadian government and that's where all of us get our supplements and that's what Charles Poliquin used to get as well. So without any further ado, let's get to the dynamic effort method. The dynamic effort method is a style of training where we use sub-maximal weights at maximal intent or maximal velocity. This training increases rate of force development and the reason that it's so important is that the best way to get stronger is to utilize all different types of resistance training. For most people on the force velocity curve, they tend to only train the middle and the upper end of the curve which is heavier, slower, and more kind of grinding or more slow tempo. As you will notice in the particular workout today, once we go through the, the kind of patented winning warm-up, which is supposed to be attacking weaknesses and prepping our body in order for us to get better, we're going to utilize speed squats and we're going to utilize clean stance holds. So we like to use portions of the Olympic lift in the off season to increase power output, but without the risk of injury. So for a lot of us that like to bench press on a consistent basis, the wrists and the elbows and the shoulders can be at a prime injury point when you're trying to do snatches and full cleans. So what we do is try to change our hand positioning both in the snatches and cleans and get the maximum from the minimal amount of mileage. So if you're an Olympic lifter, you're gonna to have to use the full Olympic lift. But if you're a power lifter, you only wanna use sections of that Olympic lift or an athlete like a football player or any other type of power sport, you're probably gonna to wanna to use portions of the Olympic lift. So let's get to the box squat. So now the box squat is a key component to being able to do speed work, in my opinion, correctly. When you're squatting with a box, you're separating the eccentric and concentric motion with a pause. And one of the hardest things to do in physics is static overcome by dynamic motion. And when you have a box, it starts to reduce the amount of kinetic energy or stored stretch reflex that you can utilize in the squat therefore making your concentric action much more forceful once you get good at it. Now, do we box squat all the time? The answer is no. We put box squats in on a strategic plan to make sure that it also helps the squatting that we're doing when we squat free. So do box squats, are they better than free squats? Only in certain times are they better. Right now we're in a pretty extensive off season, so the box squats can be incorporated, but with the level of people that we're training at the gym, they're mostly beginner and intermediate style lifters. We're gonna to have to put free squats back in on an occasion. So don't get confused that we use box squats all the time. We put them in on occasion, just like everything else in your training should be done as well. So I hope this video has helped you guys out tremendously in designing a little bit of your own dynamic work. We post these workouts verbatim on Patreon at the top tier so that you don't have to think about any of this. All you need to do is follow the workout. And right now, um, if you get on there, you'll be able to follow exactly what we're doing at the gym. I have found that most people that sign up for assessments on the website, if they're already following the Patreon workouts, their weaknesses and imbalances are already much more corrected than someone that's just kind of going and winging it at the facilities. And then when they come in, they just don't have a good background of everything. So I hope to see you guys on Patreon. Please go visit ATP Labs and get some supplements from them so you know you're getting quality ingredients put into your body. Talk to you guys soon and please visit winningstrength.com.